Good afternoon, Pokemon community. You can call me Trainer Zed, and today marks the beginning of the Kanto event. And this is the event that we have been leading up to with the Johto, the Hoenn events, everything like that. And this event is extremely exciting because they are adding all original 151 Pokemon from the Kanto region as Shinies which includes a good handful of brand new shinies, including Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, Ditto, Mew, um, and they're also adding some regionals into raids, like Kangaskhan, and Farfetch'd, and Tauros. So people who don't have those specific Pokemon in their region can now get them in their region. And uh, so far this event is kind of strange because I am used to not clicking on certain Pokemon because they can't be shiny. You know, you don't shiny check Pokemon that can't be shiny. But if it is a Kanto Pokemon, it can now be shiny. And the most recent thing I can think of that is a perfect example of that is Spearow, who could not be shiny before this, but now he can. And it's like Hitmonlee as well. Hitmonlee is a second evolution, and I know his previous evolution, um, Tyrogue, is a baby Pokemon. Still, it's interesting clicking a second evolution Pokemon that can now be shiny in the wild. And take a look at this, starting things off right, we have a shiny Sandshrew. And I actually have a funny story, well it's not funny, it's really kind of sad. A sad story about shiny Sandshrew. Um, there was a day that I was downtown and we were catching Pokemon and I clicked a Sandshrew and it was shiny and I love shiny Sandshrew because he looks like an alien it's a really neat green color and I caught him and it just sat on the the screen with the ball for a good few minutes and I kind of figured oh well, I, I must have caught it so I closed down the app opened it back up again and he was not in my recent catches. So I ran right back to where I had seen him before, where I got the one, and there were like five or six Sandshrews out. I can't remember what event it was part of, but I checked all of them in that area. None were there. I checked my journal, and it didn't have that he fled. It didn't have, you know, caught, nothing. So he was nowhere to be found, and I was extremely devastated at the time because I think it was my first or second shiny Sandshrew, and I would have been able to evolve it into Sand Slash, have the shiny family, but then I was only left with the one. There are quite a few little side quests to go with this. Go tour Kanto, defeat all challengers, which has to do with the trainer battles that they've added to Pokestops. There's the green version, Incense, which I have the green version, my brother got the red one, so he's going to be catching all of the red version of the Pokemon, similar to this. And then there's also a trading one right here. So I have to trade all of these Pokemon with him because he has the red version. Completes the Pokedex. And there are also hours for each of the towns within Kanto. So there's a Pallet Town hour, which is going on right now. There's Pewter City. There's Cerulean City. Fuchsia City. And then the Pokemon League, which I think is like a battle hour that's at the end of all of the other hours. And then there's just the standard research, which I'm not really sure what is part of that. Oh, there's also a raid one. And evolve. Okay, there's more and more, and there are so many evolves. Oh my gosh. There's also the special Pokemon Tour Kanto story quest line, which will give you the shiny Mew and shiny Ditto. And I'm not entirely sure how it works. I believe Ditto can be caught in the wild and then he can appear shiny. And I believe that if he appears shiny in the wild, the O like that appears when the Pokemon's changing into Ditto will be yellow as opposed to its normal white. And that'll be the indicator to show you that you have gotten a shiny Ditto. <laughs> However, up until this point, any of the Pokemon that could be Ditto were non-shiny eligible. However, they are now adding all of the Kanto Pokemon as shiny eligible. So I'm super confused how you're going to get a shiny wild ditto. Maybe it's going to be easier to get after this event. And if I don't know if they're taking away like Spearow previously could be a ditto. I don't know if they're taking away Spearow's ditto eligibility, or maybe you do have to catch a shiny Spearow to get a shiny ditto. No idea. I'm sure we'll figure it out soon enough. 
And I've got a 7k egg hatching here. Let's take a look what comes out of there. Galarian Ponyta, not shiny and can't even be shiny. Something else that is out quite a bit is uh, Paris. And I know for a fact that Paris used to be able to be a ditto. So I've been catching a lot of Paris, hoping that he can still be a ditto, or maybe just anything can be a ditto. I have no idea. But I was able to complete the Pallet Town hour, and it gave me this little medal here. And now I just have the Pewter City hour with a couple left on there. Uh, Voltorb off the incense, not shiny. But I really, really want shiny Voltorb because I really like great balls. Those are some of my favorite Pokeballs. And shiny Voltorb is obviously styled to look like a great ball as opposed to a normal Pokeball. And I think one of my favorite shinies that they could ever add to the game is a shiny shadow Voltorb. Because shiny shadow Voltorb would have the red eyes, which would look like the red stripes on a great ball. So he really would just be a great ball Pokemon. And during this event, Mewtwo and the three birds, the three legendary birds, are all available in raids with their shinies available. And Mewtwo currently has Psy Strike, which I think is his more powerful move, as opposed to Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball is a, however, a ghost type, and Mewtwo is a psychic. But the last one I need to complete this hour is a Voltorb, I believe. So I'm going to go ahead and catch him, get that medal, and then we'll claim the two stages and see what Pokemon are there for the rewards. All right, collection challenge complete. There's the medal. Number six, you have completed a collection challenge. Let's see what spawns off the incense. And I originally had thought that the incense Pokemon were the only ones that had higher shiny eligibilities. However, I have gotten a couple of non-incensed shinies. Like, I think Sh Sandshrew was even not off my incense. But let's see what this encounter is for Pallet Town. Spearow, not shiny, but it can now be shiny. And then next we have the pewter task completed here. Let's claim the 151 Stardust, 20 great balls, and the encounter is a Paris, which Spiro and Paris could both be ditto previously. However, there are also new shinies. So I wonder if these Pokemon rewards have to do with ditto and they have a chance of being a shiny ditto, or maybe it just has to do with the new shinies that they've added. I have no idea. Okay, that knocks out the first two, so now I just have Cerulean, Fuchsia, the League Hour, Research, Raid, Evolve. Okay, so still a ton. Still a lot. There is so much to the event, and it's, it's really exciting because I believe all of these go, yeah, for the rest of the week. Eight days. This one just has five for whatever reason. But then the special research, the one that you actually paid for in the ticket, that one continues for, I have no idea how long. I don't, I want to say that it's probably not going to expire. However, they did announce that the shiny Celebi quest line is going to be expiring once, um, once Jesse and James leave with Meowth Balloon, they're taking shiny Celebi with him, with them. I can't remember if I mentioned earlier, but one of the Pokemon I really, really wanted was Shiny Bellsprout. And here I have one. And the main reason I want this is because outside of events like this, Bellsprout is extremely hard to find, and uh, let alone his Shiny. And Bellsprout was exclusive to the green version, which is the one that I chose, which is one of the major reasons why I chose the green version. And... I'm hoping to get a few more, maybe, to get the evolutions, but I will be happy with the one. Because again, he's just going to be extremely hard to find outside of this event. And I'm extremely happy that I got at least one. Like, one is good enough for me. And I also completed the green version here. Got the medal for that as well. Uh, there wasn't an encounter with that step, but I did get some incense. I got an incense and some stardust for that. I think some Pokeballs as well. And I didn't record catching this one because, again, it's not a new one. But this shiny Bulbasaur here looks to be just about a perfect PvP Bulbasaur to be a PvP Venusaur. I'm most likely going to be evolving him during this event because the Kanto starters are going to be getting their Community Day slash Legacy moves during this event. So that's going to be a really good Pokemon for PvP. And again, 
I love showing off some shinies in PvP. I am currently standing outside of the Olympic and Paralympic Museum, and this building is insane. Look at this. It is a beautiful building. It's so twisted and awesome looking. And uh, we've taken down a Mewtwo right in front of here, so we're gonna give that a shiny check. Again, he's got his move Psy Strike. Can we get a shiny here at the Olympic Center? Let's, we'll name him Olympus, if it's shiny. Come on. Ah, not shiny. And behind me, not too far away from the Olympic Museum, uh, this is the Olympic Training Center for the United States, which is ludicrous. Um, they are not currently open, which is why I'm outside the gate. However, you can still see this awesome statue behind me of the Olympic athletes holding up the globe. And I am currently taking down a Zapdos, which again, if this is shiny, I'll name him Olympus because that would be super awesome. All right, let's give him a shiny check. All right, Zapdos, come on, be Olympus. No, Olympus, I don't think it's shiny. It's not. Now we are here at King's Chef Purple Castle. And this was featured on Dine-Ins, Drive-Ins, and Dives, if I am correct. Here I have a shiny Psyduck, which was one of the ones that I was majorly going for during this event, uh, along with uh, Bellsprout and Voltorb. No luck on the Voltorb thus far, but uh, towards the end of the day, I think the last hour or several hours, are just a combination of all the spawns from throughout the day. So hopefully I can get one during that point. There's about 14 minutes left in this Cerulean City hour. Fuchsia City is next, and I don't think I have a particular Pokemon I'm going after in that hour. Um, I'll have to see what else spawns. I can't remember exactly, but the ones on the spawn list for the quest line don't seem too exciting to me. The shiny rates don't seem to be as good as Community Day. However, they are very high because I don't know my shiny total yet, but it's going to be a, a double digits at the very least. Down with another Mewtwo raid. And let's go ahead and give this a shiny check. Come on, 16 Pokeballs. Let's see, green Mewtwo. No, didn't happen. 2336, I think that's gonna be terrible as well. I believe that makes five or six Mewtwo's throughout this event, so his rates aren't incredible, uh, at least thus far. And he is really difficult to catch because, again, this one's not a very good one. My last one, I think, was 2350, and that was an 87. So this one's not really good. It might even be a two-star, um, and he's really difficult to catch still. I'm getting excellent throws every single curveball and still have yet to catch him. Ah, this one got him. All right, let's check those IVs real quick. Barely a three star. I think he's probably like an 84 or something like that. 82, not great. And it is currently Fuchsia City Hour. I've completed the Cerulean City Hour and the Fuchsia Hour, so that gave me medals number seven and eight. Or eight and nine. Eight and nine, I think it was. But let's go ahead and claim Cerulean City here, see what the encounter is. 151 Stardust for the 151 Pokemon in the Kanto region. 20 Great Balls, and it is Goldeen, who was Shiny eligible. Um, her Shiny was added just before this event. Oh, come on, get out of the corner. That was a horrible throw. Let's then also claim Fuchsia City here. Once again, 151 Stardust, 20 Great Balls, and then the encounter is... Venonat. Again, another shiny eligible that was added, I don't know, some time ago in the last year, so this is not another new shiny. But I think I want to say Goldeen and Venonat both were ditto before this, before they were added shinies. And of the, all of the little quest lines on this page here, the only one that is timed for today is the Defeat All Challengers, and it only has four pages, so... I got the first page complete. Let's collect the Stardust, more Great Balls, and an Encounter, which is Eevee. But look what just spawned on the incense. Shiny Sandshrew. I'll gladly take another one of these because I believe you have to dex all 151 Pokemon from the Kanto region to complete the full Kanto 
quest line, the main one that you paid the paid for with the ticket, and I well, no, I actually do have Sanch last deck, so that's not going to be a shiny dex, but I'll probably evolve one specifically for that 151 challenge. That'll be neat. And the last step on this stage of defeat all challengers. Got some Eevee candy, revives. Number two is evolve three Pokemon, defeat three go tour challengers, and power up three power up Pokemon three times. I think I'm going to focus on completing the today tab quest lines because um, those are more so themed with today, the actual event, as opposed to the rest of the week, which is more just a normal event with boosted spawns, but today actually has like the shiny boost spawns and things like that. And this Machop marks the final catch in the League series, so it will get me, I believe, medal 10. Let's see, medal number, yeah, 10. See your Elite Collector Medal to view all completed collection challenges. Alright, and then let's claim that encounter real quick here. 151 Stardust, of course, 20 Great Balls. The encounter is a shiny Dratini! What the f- What the heck? <laughs> I, I haven't even gotten a shiny Dratini throughout the duration of this event. I'm gonna catch him in a Pokeball, actually, because he can't run away. That is my first task-based shiny of this event. And that's especially exciting because, again, task shinies are high IV shinies. Let's check this guy's IVs. Da -da -da. Eh, good, not great, but still pretty high for a shiny. Three-star shiny Dratini. That's amazing. I am also told that there are special stickers from the stops, which I would be able to collect if my bag wasn't full. Because I keep getting all these Pokeball rewards, so my bag just goes way above. Look, 2629 of 2600. Let's get rid of like 40 Pokeballs. Let's see what one of the special stickers is here. Oh, it's a Mewtwo sticker and it's amazing. He's like sticking his fist out like he's gonna murder you with Psy Strike. I'm gonna stack up on those definitely. And I also have a Kanto Tour task here with an encounter which is hatch an egg. Not entirely sure what that is, but I do have an egg that's cooking which is about halfway finished, so I'll be able to complete that here pretty soon. D day Daylight went away really quickly. It's only 6.30 and it's pitch black outside. You can't even see anything. So we're gonna do the remainder in the car. And I think my main focus is gonna be again, defeat all challengers. That only has two hours and 28 minutes left, which is the duration of the event. And then the rest of these red version, those are the trades. Research, which I think has to do with the paid research quest line, because you have to catch Ditto and Cubone, and I have not seen any Cubone and caught no Ditto. And Raid, I have Articuno and Moltres, so maybe I'll hop in some of those. There's also Evolve, which of course we'll just do later, because there's a lot to Evolve. I have now defeated three of the Go Tour Kanto Challengers, which completed page two. 500 Stardust, 500 XP, and another 500 XP, giving me three Max Potions, three, or no, one Sinnoh Stone, and three Max Revives. Now I have to battle in a raid, win a raid, and defeat three Go Tour Challengers again. So I was thinking maybe they'd increase in Challenger numbers each time, because I thought that the first one was two, the second one was three. But this one's just three again, so maybe they're not going to get too difficult with it and just let you do three more for the last step as well. And of course, it, again, it's not even seven o'clock, so there's still raids around. Raids typically stop at eight. I'll probably grab one of these far-fetched. Far? Far-fetched is? Far-fetched. I have completed the final... I completed the... <clears throat> I can't even think of what I'm trying to say. I have defeated the third... Sorry, there's two people. Oh, there is. I have defeated the third Go Challenger for this step in the quest line. That is like the fifth time I've had to record that because I can't even figure out what I was trying to say. It's been a long day. Uh, but let's go ahead and claim these rewards here. Got some Stardust or a uh, Star Piece. Oh my God. And an encounter here. 
Lapras. Not shiny, but still a cool encounter nonetheless, especially since it is snowy weather at the moment. And the final step in this stage, gonna give us 20 Lapras candy, a thousand Stardust, and another thousand XP. All right, so power up Pokemon five times, defeat three Go Tour challenge challengers with your buddy. That's interesting. And defeat five Go Tour challenger challengers. And it actually gives you a raid pass, which is a good reward and an egg, a lucky egg, as well as some TMs. That'll be neat. And there is, there are two hours left, and I believe this hour. Yep. So I was correct. I I don't remember where I saw it, just somewhere online that the last two hours of the event are all event featured Pokemon here, and it is currently seven o'clock. It ends at nine, so the final two hours are just going to be. A random jumble of nonsense, but I have all of the other, I think, let me double check. I have all of the other towns completed. So Pallet Town, done. Pewter City, done. Cerulean City, done. Fuchsia City, done. Pokemon League, done, which was that the previous hour. And then this is the research, but it still has eight days again because I think it goes along with the paid research raid. I'll see if I can get a Moltres and an Articuno before the day is over, but that might also have to wait. There's fireworks in the background again. I wonder if that's for the final two hours or if that's been going on the whole time, but I just noticed it. Maybe it's been going on since it changed from day to night. Still cool. What is that over there? Oh, that's an egg. A very oblonged egg. The final two hours have blessed us with one of the more rare Pokemon from the entire event. Shiny Aerodactyl. And... Shiny Aerodactyl is especially exciting, again, because he is rare outside of events in general. Like, occasionally you can see him on a faraway Pokestop, and you'll run to that Pokestop, and he's probably going to be gone by the time you get there. Uh, he is also available in Task, which I think is win five raids, win eight raids, something like that. But he's just a rare, very rare Pokemon to get, and this one is decent. I think he's pretty good for great league pvp but this one doesn't look very good pvp ivs but that is a very exciting shiny to get and oh i'm out of raid passes i'll just not do that one <laughs> i have to buy more coins um that is a really neat shiny to get there's only a handful more that i would like to get uh hitmonlee hitmonchan both of those voltorb i i got a psyduck i can't remember anything else and here is one of the trainer battles. This is One Slap Guy. These challenger battles were um, kind of characters that were created by us trainers and submitted to Pokemon to appear during this event. And I think that's kind of interesting. They also got to pick the team that they went with. And there have been some themed trainers where like all the Pokemon match the particular trainer's outfit. Or like they themed it to, I think there was a... A gal that looked like a rock type trainer and she had all rock pokemon which was really neat and just for everyone involved in that that actually got their trainer put out good job because everyone's characters look great i would have submitted a character and i had one in mind and i'm kind of sad that i didn't because i feel like it would have been a good one i was going to dress my avatar up to look sort of like a grim reaper character and I was going to give him my Gengar backpack that I always have. And I was going to make his whole team ghosts. And I think that would have been amazing. And I'm kind of disappointed in myself that I was too lazy to, to dress my character up and submit it. Because it would have been really cool to see myself on the map. And not only that, but have everyone battle me on the map. That would have been awesome. <laughs> this will be my final challenger battle of the event because it is the last one that I need to complete this step in the quest line. And this is another one of the themed ones that I saw. Uh, this guy is dressed up as Pikachu. And since this guy's outfit is themed as Pikachu, he's got the Pikachu mask on and the onesie. Of course, his Pokemon are all Pikachu. They're the different costume themed Pikachu. The first one is Flying Pikachu. The second one is just standard Pikachu, which is not as entertaining, but still pretty neat. And the third one is Mimichu. Is it a shiny? Is that a shiny Mimichu? I think it is. That's awesome. They allowed shiny Pokemon to be added for these battle leagues. Oh, that makes me even more sad because I could add shiny Pokemon as my guy. Oh, maybe that wasn't shiny. It's hard to tell. 
looked shiny. I'm going to say that it was. Your outfit and team were awesome. Good job designing them. And good job not being lazy and getting it in. And with that, I do have this final stage, and there's only 53 minutes left. The final stage of Defeat All Challengers completed. Let's go ahead and get this 20, I'm going to assume Snorlax candy. Yep. And the raid pass. And then I'm going to guess that this is Snorlax. Can it be shiny? No. That would have been so amazing. And I think that's going to wrap it up for us for the day one of the Kanto event. Oh, wow. I should actually claim the last step of this stage first. Fast TM, Lucky Egg, Charge TM. There we go. And I think that's going to wrap it up for day one of this event. Um, it does go through the rest of the week. And I'm unsure if the shiny eligibility will be as high as it was today. I have a feeling that it's just boosted for today for the actual 10-hour, uh, 12-hour 12, 12 event. Hmm. But I'm going to be doing the rest of the raids, evolutions, all that kind of stuff to finish the other one. And we're going to catch ourselves Shiny Ditto and Shiny Mew. The paid Kanto event has come to an end. Um, it was only 12 hours that first day. This is now day two of the standard Kanto event that will be available to everyone, even if you didn't purchase the ticket. That first day was a 12-hour event that I believe was exclusive to people who purchased the ticket. And now there's just more Kanto spawns out and about. And there is, of course, the new shinies that were added. Uh, Spiro, Paris, Hitmonlee, and Hitmonchan. And I did get this Hitmonchan just a few minutes ago at a stop sign. We're on our way downtown to look for some more Mewtwo raids because shiny Mewtwo is beautiful. I need more. I really, really like Shiny Hitmonchan here. He's a, a really cool, like, navy green color, and the blue gloves just sets him apart from the standard Hitmonchan, and I, I dig it. Let's just check his IVs real quick. Oh, he's like, he's like an 89 or a 91. What in the world? Oh, I love it. I will definitely take that. He is an amazing looking Shiny. And today, our main focus is going to be completing the Kanto research, the paid research, and then there's also just a standard research in the Today tab, just a timed research. And then the rest of the research tasks, like the, the trading one, uh, the evolution one, which is going to take a long time. And of course, running around, getting some more Mewtwo. I got this first step in the Kanto celebration event timed research from the Today tab completed. And this is another new shiny Paris. This one is not shiny. Encounter number two, Geodude. This is not a new shiny, but I like a Geodude. Encounter number three, we've got Rhyhorn. And the final step in this stage, three raspberries. We've got an encounter here, Onyx. When it started off with the Paris, I had a slight feeling that it was going to be the new shiny eligible Pokemon, but I guess that was wrong. And the next page is then defeat three Team Go Rocket Grunts, catch two Shadow Pokemon, catch 20 Pokemon. That'll lead us into page one of eight of the Pokemon Go Tour Kanto paid research, which will have shiny Ditto and shiny Mew. So going to go ahead and claim these ones here. Three incense, 150. 50 XP, which is weird. I thought they were doing 151, but whatever. And the encounter is a Bulbasaur. Berries, potions, and Pokeballs. Looks like you're all set. As you begin today's adventure, try to imagine you're stepping straight into the tall grass of Kanto. I have a feeling that you'll meet a Pokemon that will be a wonderful partner on your journey. Be sure to take some snapshot snapshots of the Pokemon you encounter along the way. On adventures, I find it's helpful to document not only your findings, but also your memories. And I'm sure you'll make plenty of both. Now, in the words of a wise professor, your very own Pokémon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokémon await. Let's go! And the next step is use an incense, catch 30 Pokémon, take a snapshot of Bulbasaur, which is the Pokémon it just gave us as an encounter. Got these next three encounters completed. First one, Ekans. Yes. All right. <laughs> Encounter number three, coughing. And the final step in this stage, 1000 XP, 
The encounter is Grimer. And it appears that this quest line along with it appears that this quest line along with the paid one is helping us complete the evolution quest and the trade quest, everything like that. Which is really helpful because I haven't seen a whole lot of Grimers and I am going to evolve this one here into a muck to achieve the evolution step that requires me to evolve a whole bunch of Pokemon. There's Muck, isn't he beautiful? Goodbye, buddy. Alright, that'll put me at take a snapshot of water type Pokemon, catch 20 water type Pokemon, catch 25 Pokemon. And here the Kanto we have 50 Pokeballs, a Poffin, an encounter which is Tangla. And then as for the last step in this stage, 25 Bulbasaur candy, 50 Pokeballs, and this encounter is Chansey. How's your journey going, Trainer Zed? Oh, found a partner Pokemon to join you, eh? Wonderful work. In the Kanto region, trainers are often presented with three options when it comes to their first partner Pokemon. The first is Bulbasaur, the seed Pokemon, number one in the Pokedex. This grass-type Pokemon has a plant seed on its back right from the day it is born. Another option is Charmander, the lizard Pokemon. It is a fire-type Pokemon and has a flame on its tail that shows the strength of its life force. Last, but certainly not least, is Squirtle, the tiny turtle Pokemon. After birth, this water-type Pokemon's back swells and hardens into a shell. Each of these Pokemon have their strengths and weaknesses, so be sure to study up. For now, though, it is time to get back to your adventure. I'd like you to spend some time with your buddy. The relationship between a trainer and their Pokemon is of utmost importance. How about going on a walk together? I always enjoy exploring with my buddy. And that'll put us at earn three hearts with your buddy, catch 30 Pokemon, and evolve a Bulbasaur. One of the next steps in the quest line is evolve a Bulbasaur. And during the Kanto event, I got a Bulbasaur that was a 98% PvP IV for, um, for Venusaur. And if you evolve Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle during this event to their respective third evolutions, they get their Community Day moves on them, so I figure this would be a good time to evolve this Ivysaur, or Bulbasaur all the way then to a Venusaur. However, I do have some suspicion that the next step in the quest line here is going to require me to evolve an Ivysaur. So I'm going to leave it an Ivysaur for now and then make it a Venusaur after this. But the encounter is Cubone. And Cubone was one of the required Pokemon for one of the smaller quest lines. I think it's just the one that ties directly to this paid quest line. So that will complete that little step as well. Wonderful work, trainer. Glad to see you're growing closer to your buddy. Keep it up and you'll become even closer in no time. When it comes to being a trainer, people often talk about catching techniques or battle strategies, but I find that friendship is just as essential. Not only are relationships that you build with your Pokemon incredibly important, but so are the friendships you build with other trainers. Your personal journeys and goals may vary, but at the end of the day, you're all trainers. You should do your best to connect with other trainers you meet on your travels. In that spirit, how about sending your friends some gifts to brighten their day? I'm sure they'd love to hear from you. And again, I have to use an incense, three gifts to friends, and trade three Pokemon with a friend. And I also have the third stage in the Kanto Celebration Event Today tab completed. Staryu is the first encounter. The second encounter is Shelter. The third encounter is Tentacool. This also presents another good opportunity to complete one of the evolution steps for the evolution quest. I did need to evolve a Tentacool into Tentacruel. This one's not any good, so he's just going to get transferred, but it is going to add to the collection challenge there. And the third and final encounter for this step, three Pineapp Berries. Let's go ahead and see. This one is Almanite. Then up next, I have to power up Pokemon 10 times, send three gifts to friends, and catch 25 Pokemon. In fulfilling one of the final requirements for the Kanto quests, uh, we just pull over to do a quick Articuno raid, and what do you know, mine was the shiny one in the car. Uh, 1690. I have no idea what that CP is like. I'm gonna give him a golden raspberry. No, I could give him a pineapple, and it would 
catch him first ball, but well, he's a shiny legendary. We're gonna pay our respects, okay? Oh, 1690 is not very good. I got, I got a glimpse of someone else's IVs. All right, someone else's CP. Let's check here. Uh, it's two star with full defense. Whatever. It's my first shiny bird. I don't think I have. I don't. I don't have any of the other ones. So I will definitely take it. It's suiting for the Kanto event to get one of the legendary birds as a shiny. All right. So see here, I was just completing this here. I'm gonna claim this reward, get it charged in fast TM, and the encounter is a Snorlax. Not a shiny Snorlax, but a Snorlax nonetheless. Another exciting thing I get to accomplish during this event is I earned a lucky trade with uh, someone in my friend's nest, friends, friends, one of my friends, Kristen. And she has a Pokemon that I have been chasing for quite some time. I got lucky friends with her in during the Lunar event when lucky friend chance was boosted. She originally wanted a shiny Chansey, which I was totally okay with giving her because I have many a shiny Chansey. Um, but apparently during the event, she was hunting down shiny Aerodactyl and she was not able to get one. And she is giving me shiny Squirrel Squad. Since she wasn't able to get a shiny Aerodactyl, I figured I'd give her one because she's giving me something that I really, really want, so I'd give her something she really, really wants as well. And he is indeed shiny. This is my first Squirtle Squad Squirtle I've ever gotten. And he's got the green shell, the sunglasses, and he's a little bit angry. I love it. I, I have been trying to collect all of the different Squirtle costumes and variants and things, and I think this is one of the last ones that I needed. And this one is really special because he evolves as you can see so i really need two more so i can evolve the best one into blastoise and then i can still have man it's windy and i could still have the shiny squirtle because squirtle is my favorite of the three but of course i'd like the full shiny family and let's go ahead and check his ivs here let's see Ooh, not the best not the best but he is still a shiny squirtle squad squirtle lucky pokemon he's my first one Thank you very much, Kristen. I hope you like that shiny Aerodactyl just as much as I like this shiny Squirtle Squad. Got ourselves a little Mewtwo raid. Let's go ahead and give him a shiny check. Come on, Psy Strike. No. Oh. 2339. I don't think that's any good either. Another Mewtwo check here. Come on, be shiny, baby. And the CP 2893. I don't know if that's any good, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a catch. See if it is. Caught him. The IVs are terrible. Oh my gosh! I thought it was. I thought it was going to be good. I'm not going to lie, but he was awful. Gosh dang it! I do now also have the next stage in the Kanto Celebration Today tab quest completed, and it gave us Porygon. The second encounter is Jinx. Encounter number three, Eevee. I do need another Eevee because I'm trying to evolve one into Flareon to get Flareon for the evolution quest. Let's see if we can be lucky on this one because I've gotten like five Jolteons and three uh, Vaporeons, but no Flareon. Let's see. Ah, another Vaporeon. Come on. How bad, how bad can my luck be? A 98 Vaporeon. Okay, okay. I'll take that back. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And because I evolved him during the event, he's got his last resort move. So, uh, decent, decent, okay? I take it back. Uh, the final step here has a rare candy, 24 something 100 XP, and the encounter is now an Aerodactyl. And the Aerodactyl's IVs are a hundo! A 98 and then a hundo from this quest line. What in the world? Oh, if that was shiny. If that was shiny, it would have been my first shundo. I definitely would not have complained for that. And that completes the Today tab quest. Uh, I do also have the trade red version completed here. 1500 Stardust, one Lucky Egg, Silver Pineapple Berry, and again, the last one, well, I need the research, so I gotta catch that shiny Ditto, and the Evolution one's here. All right, page four of eight for the Kanto Tour paid research. Get an incubator, some pineapps, candy, stardust, cubone candy, and the encounter is Lickitung. And that put, puts us, look, 12 
collection challenge medals. I think we might get one more. Nope, just 12, all right. Welcome back, trainer. Hope you enjoyed connecting with other trainers. I see you were even able to trade a few Pokemon. Trading is a fabulous way to acquire Pokemon you might not have otherwise encountered. Yeah, like my uh, shiny Squirtle squad. And not only do you get a new entry in your Pokedex, but you also get a new friend. Does he mean the trainer or the Pokemon? You've already made great progress on your journey. I think it's time to show off the skills you've learned along the way. How about show showcasing your throwing expertise by catching Pokemon? Don't forget to use some of your berries, too. I s I'm especially fond of Pinet berries. They help you get extra candy for the Pokemon you're catching, and they're tasty to boot. Make three nice throws in a row, catch 10 different species of Pokemon, and use 20 berries to help catch Pokemon. Another Mewtwo. Let's take a look. Come on, shiny, shiny, shiny. Let's do it. Ah. Another Mewtwo for the books. Come on. Come on, buddy. Ugh. Another Mewtwo check here. All right, let's see. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mm. Ah! What the f***? 2317, this one's garbage. All right, he got he got the shiny on his alternate account. On his alternate account. Yeah, it did. What the f***? God. Another Mewtwo. This is currently raid hour, so there's all kinds of stuff in. Give him a check. <sighs> not shiny. 2348, that's not even very, very good. Uh, this is currently the raid hour for the Kanto event, and there are the three birds and Mewtwo. And I think, I think there's like five, six Mewtwo in this area here, so hopefully we can hit all of those. Uh, the lobbies fill up really, really quickly because everyone wants that green Mewtwo, so I don't think we're going to have much of a problem getting them. It's just, it's a numbers game. Mewtwo check number three, four. I don't even know at this point. Ah! You, are you kidding me? 2361. He got it on his alt and his main. Mine's 2313. Mine's garbage. I'll take him. <sighs> okay. Okay. To be fair, he did trade me his only shiny Mewtwo in that lucky trade. I gave him uh, a Ralts. So he, he probably deserved it a little bit more than I did. Come on, Mewtwo, let's go. Let's do this. Come on, this one's gonna be shiny. That's it. That's it. Ha. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. 2300. Pretty sure that's gonna be a 10 10 10. 2371. Yeah, nope, mine's garbage. Another Mewtwo. Come on, but I thought we were friends. I'm mildly offended, friend. Come on. 2346, that's gar. I've gotten three shiny Mewtwo's before this. I thought we were. Fr I feel betrayed. I feel betrayed. Come on, Mewtwo. Uh, we're best buddies, remember? Shiny Mewtwo, we're best bu- Son of a bitch! I'll, I'll give him his respects this time. I'll let it play all the way through. Thousand Stardust, 18 max, or uh, 18 potions. I don't know what kind of potion. 19 Pokeballs. All right, let's go. Be real respectful this time. Come on, Mewtwo. You're my buddy, right? Why do you hurt me like this? Apparently, I was saving up all of my shiny green luck for something else. Not a Mewtwo, but a Spinda. This is actually my second shiny Spinda. Uh, the first one, I hope, was a different form. But there are 20 Spinda forms that have or will be available in the game. And uh, each different Spinda form has a different shiny. So there's 40 Spindas if you wanted a living Pokedex, plus all the shinies. So this is just another little gem in the gauntlet. Let's check his IVs. Three star, not great, 80 something. But definitely happy to take that. I do mildly want to check right now, see if he's different. Ah, yes, he's different than the other one. Take a look at that. Different spots on the cheeks. And then the shiny version also has a different pattern of spots than the standard. As you can see here, the snow came down pretty hard last night. And my voice is echoing through this valley. I thought snow was supposed to help that. But I've got uh, step five in the Pokemon Tour Kanto task complete here. Let's go ahead and claim this encounter. It's Aerodactyl. One star piece, 25 Bulbasaur candy. And we're gonna get a premium battle pass, 25 Cubone candy. The encounter here will be Snorlax. I'm sure I had a stash of pineapple berries here somewhere. Oh, 
Welcome back, Trainer Zed. Guess my snack will have to wait. You really do like those pineapple berries, don't you? And it seems like you're ashamed of that fact. I've been checking up on your progress, and I have to say, I'm very impressed. It seems there's no challenge you can't overcome. As I'm sure you know, a well-rounded trainer needs to have a great team of Pokémon to battle against other trainers or even challenge Pokémon in raids. I think it's a great time to power up some of your Pokémon and bolster your team. While you focus on that, I'll be looking into an interesting rumor I caught wind of. There have been reports of encounters with a Pokémon that's able to transform into another Pokémon entirely. Fascinating stuff. I'll be sure to share whatever I find when you return. I'm fairly certain he's talking about Ditto, which hopefully means that this step right here, this step right here will give us the shiny Ditto. I, fingers crossed. I defeated a Team Rocket here. This is a bit of a special encounter, but I'm not going to go too much into it because I already have it. Shadow Mewtwo. And at the moment, Giovanni has Mewtwo. I have, I think, or I had, two stacked up uh, quest lines to get the Ultra Rocket Radar, my, uh, I forget what it's called, to get Giovanni's encounter. And at the end of February, beginning of March, Giovanni's encounters are going to change back to the legendary birds. So I figured I'd grab a couple more Mewtwo so I can have a little Shadow Mewtwo army before he goes away. And hey, let's check the IVs on this guy. Come on. Come on. Ah, PvP worthy. Two star still. Not amazing. I'll take it. All right, this is Mewtwo. I gotta be getting near 20. Gotta be hedging on 20 here. Holy sh! 2294? Is that the f***ing Hundo? <laughs> no, it's f***ing trash. Is it? Mine's 2352. Oh. I thought it was like 2270 whatever was the a really good one. Wow, number two. Oh, yeah, ten, let's... 10, 10, 10. Let's see that. Wow. That was worth it. It's number two, though. I wasn't going to say anything. I was going to be like, wow. Pokemon Tour Kanto, page six of eight completed. 25 Bulbasaur candy, I'm going to assume. Yeah. 20 Mewtwo candy. And we get this neat exclusive hat because we chose Pokemon Green version. One fast TM, one charge TM, and this encounter, could it be the shiny Ditto? Come on. Ah, it's a Lapras. It's a blue Pokemon. It's just the wrong blue Pokemon. Glad you're back, trainer. After looking into those reports, it certainly sounds like the work of Ditto, the transform Pokemon. Ditto rearranges its cell structure to transform itself into other shapes. What an incredible Pokemon. However, there seems to be something more to this situation. Could you help me with some research so we can find out exactly what is going on? Could you help me with some research so we can find out a... Could you help me with some research so we can find out what exactly is going on? I'll continue my work here to see if I can uncover some more information that might help us. Now we have to catch 30 Pokemon, 15 different species, and transfer 20 Pokemon. This is 7 of 8. So maybe Ditto is on this page or the next page. Either way... I need that little blue blob of goodness. That was relatively easy to complete. Caught all those Pokemon. Transferred the Pokemon, the different species of Pokemon. And let's claim the last step in this stage. Allure module. Lucky egg. Is this the Ditto? Can this be the Ditto? Is this encounter the Ditto? Please. Please, baby. Yes! It's the Ditto! <laughs> Shiny Ditto! Oh, he's my favorite! Look at him! Look at him! Little shiny boy! Oh, you know I'm catching him in a, in a great ball because he's blue! Blue little ditto boy! I didn't, I didn't even get a great throw, I was too excited. Oh, shiny ditto! Oh, af after this event, um, from what I've gathered during this event, they've taken out uh, a majority of the ditto eligible Pokemon. So you can't even really find a ditto at all. And after this event, I'm not entirely sure if they're going to make ditto eligible Pokemon all shiny and you have to get like a shiny Pidgey that'll transform into a shiny ditto. Or if you just randomly get a Remoraid and the Remoraid turns into a shiny ditto, just one in X amount chance. It's, it's really difficult to say right now because I think this is the only way to get him at the moment. He's two star. I don't care. He's amazing. He's a beautiful little blue shiny guy. Look at him. Oh, I love him. 
<laughs> He's my favorite. Completed the collection challenge number 13. Trainer Zed, is it true? You've encountered a shiny ditto. I'm stunned. You've had quite the journey, haven't you? It's been a joy to follow your progress, as always. Believe it or not, though, there's still an another mystery that needs solving. You see, after looking over the research you've conducted, I think we might be on the trail of a new, po new species Pokemon, Mew. We've documented Mew in the past, but something's different this time, though I can't yet say what it is. Whatever the case, I think it's safe to say this is going to be a memorable adventure. In the meantime, keep an eye out for another research assignment. I have a feeling this is going to be an especially challenging endeavor, but I'm sure you're up to it. For now, though, I think congratulations are in order. You did a tremendous job on today's Kanto-themed journey. I hope you were able to make some special memories with your Pokémon and fellow trainers. Thanks again for all your help and hard work. Now, let's go! I... I'm blown away. I am extremely excited. That has got to be, seriously, one of my favorite Pokémon that I have. Shiny Ditto. Ditto Candy, Mew Candy the Ditto stickers. And as you may have noticed, I did not encounter Shiny Mew. That is because that first quest line was for Ditto, and like Professor Willow said, there's a second quest line that's now for Mew, and that's what this is. Ah, Trainer Zed, glad to have you aboard this expedition. Say, have you ever heard this particular tune? Da da do da dee da dum. That's what I hear in my head when I think of a certain sailor and his wingle that I met while traveling through the Hoenn region in my younger years. I'm sure that's a very specific reference to the anime, but I'm sorry I don't understand. I believe the tune was originally a, sh a sea shanty. Sailors would sing songs like this together on their seafaring adventures to keep morale high and fi help find a rhythm during certain tasks. I'm no sailor, but I do find myself feeling luckier after humming it. Anyway, we're here to look into the strange situation we uncovered during your Kanto-themed journey. I'm talking, of course, about reports of encounters with Mew, the new species Pokemon. There have been several sightings of a shiny one recently, which is tremendously exciting. That means our goal on this expedition is not only to find one of the most elusive Pokemon to ever exist, but a shiny one at that. You've experienced a lot on your journeys thus far, Trainer Zed, but perhaps the most wonderful thing about Pokemon is that there's always something new to discover. I hope you're excited for what's to come, because I have a feeling it's going to be a real test of your skills as a trainer. Let's go! Make 151 great throws, send 151 gifts to friends, earn the Platinum Kento Medal. Oh my gosh. That's gonna be ludicrous. That's insane. That is not the only exciting shiny we have to claim here. There is this research that was released maybe about a month ago to coincide with the new Pokemon movie, which I don't think is available in the US just yet. I believe it's just been released in Japan. I'm not entirely sure when it's supposed to come out in the US, especially given the state of things, uh, but we do have this special research. I can't believe we were defeated by a twerp like you. That was totally unexpected. What will the boss say? Huh? Hey, behind you, isn't that Celebi? Could it be the so-called protector of the jungle? Drat, that Pokemon was supposed to be ours. Mark our words. We'll get you next time. We're blasting off again. And then this encounter is not going to be Celebi, I don't think. This is Fungus. Now, this should be Celebi. 500 Stardust, 1000 XP. Let's see. A Celebi appeared. There he is. Look at him. Ugh. Shiny little pink boy. Ugh. Now, I'm not exactly in a jungle area, so I, I am in a forest, which is sort of suiting for Celebi. So I figured that would be a pretty cool AR shot, is Celebi in the forest. Ball number two. Let's see if this will catch him. Nope. Disappeared. There he is. Ball number three. Come here, buddy. He hit him. Ball number three. Is this going to catch him? One, two, three. Shiny Celebi. Two, two majorly awesome shinies. Uh, Ditto and Celebi. And then we're on the hunt for Mew, but that's going to take a really long time. Oh, 
My Celebi is a 91. My my non-shiny Celebi is absolute trash. That incredibly makes up for it. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Look at him. He's so pink. I love it. Oh, he's got little blue or no. Are those green? Yeah, there's a green little ends on his antennas. Shiny little onion fairy. The Pokemon Go Tour Kanto event is nearly coming to a close. And I just have a handful more evolutions to do to get the final little quest lines completed. So, let's see. All right. Actually, we have this research one here. Going to go ahead and claim that reward. Three silver pineapple berries, XP, and then the encounter is another little ditto. This one is not shiny. However, I will still take a ditto. This one could be good IVs quite possibly. Let's see. Uh, not very good IVs. All right, up next. Yes, we just have the evolutions in first. And first, we are going to evolve this Ivysaur into a shiny Venusaur. Which again, this shiny Ivysaur will become a 99% Great League IV PvP Venusaur. If that made any sense. It's going to be a good PvP Venusaur, essentially. Up next, we have to evolve female Nidoran into Nidorina, I think. And this, I believe, is going to be a Pokedex for me because I think it was a shadow on the collection task. And it's an interesting shiny as well. Yes, yeah, so Pokedex. It's a darker purple than Nidoran female, the pre-evolution. And I really like this purple. I, I just wish that... The color scheme stayed with Nidoqueen. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. We will evolve this one again into Nidoqueen. And you'll see the color scheme is like a Hulk green with pink accents, which is just in it of itself is not a great color scheme for a shiny. And if it had stayed that deep purple, it would have been 10 times better. But instead, we're stuck with this. And we also have to evolve a Nidoran male into Nidorino and Nido King. So I'm going to do something a little bit interesting for this. I am going to evolve a Shadow Nidoran male into Shadow Nidorino. And evolve him again into Shadow Nido King. Because I think this is going to look really interesting. I think... One of the one of the rocket leaders has Shadow Nido King in their team. I can't remember which one it is. I want to say it's Cliff, or maybe they all just rotate through it. But Shadow Nido King looks amazing with those dark red eyes, and then the purple flames around him just makes him look all the more scary. Up next, we have to evolve a Cliff Fairy, and I'm going to evolve this shiny one here because this one again is going to be a Pokedex, I believe. And might as well sh throw as many things into the shiny Pokedex as we can. There it is, shiny Clefable, and it keeps the bright green tips on the end of its ears. I believe the pink stays the same in its body. I don't think that gets any lighter or anything like that, but it does have the neat little green ends of its ears, and it's it's a it's a passable shiny. I mean, it's not spectacular, but it's not terrible like Nido Queen, and we also have to evolve a Zubat this is not going to be a Pokedex but I am evolving a shiny Zubat to give myself a shiny Golbat because I have plenty of shiny Zubat and I don't have any shiny Golbat yet so I'm just going to add another member to this family and this one is another pretty decent shiny as well I really liked the tan underwing on shiny Zubat uh the pinkish underwing on shiny Golbat makes sense with it makes sense with evolving all the way to shiny Crobat because shiny Crobat just looks like a shaved bat which is a decent it, it, it's definitely an extreme difference a drastic different shiny but I wish you kept the green because it's a really nice like forest green color up next we are evolving a shiny Oddish and there is Shining Gloom. Probably should have 
predicted it was going to be green, but I like the yellow leaves on the top of his head. It looks like shiny Venusaur and shiny, that whole shiny family, which kind of makes sense because they are keeping like the same color scheme with grass shinies, which is neat. And we're going to evolve shiny gloom again here into shiny vile plume. And I'm not sure. Okay. So the flower on the top of his head turns a nice orange color and the body stays a nice green color. That's a really nice looking shiny. Uh, definitely can't complain about that. Throw that in the Pokedex. And this is not a Pokedex or a new shiny for me. I believe I already have a shiny Doug Trio, but I'm going to evolve another one here just to add another little shiny to the evolution collection challenge. Not a bad shiny with their three little blue noses. And I'm also going to evolve one of these shinies that we got during the event, Shiny Meowth, into Shiny Persian. Uh, again, not a Pokedex. And his shiny is kind of interesting. It looks like he sort of has a, a neon yellow mixed into him, into his tan. It gives him a an interesting look. He looks almost like haunted. I think a Shiny Shadow Persian would look really, really cool because he would look sort of ghostly with the purple flames. And here is Shiny Poliwhirl. Shiny Poliwhirl looks very, very similar to Shiny Poliwag. Um, but I did need this one for the collection challenge. And now I'm going to evolve Shiny Poliwhirl into Shiny Poliwrath, which I already know is a much more exciting Shiny. And I believe it's also going to add it to the Pokedex again. So, yes. Let's add Shiny Poliwrath into the Pokedex right next to his family there. And it is a really nice shiny. I like the green buff shinies because it reminds me of Hulk. And Shiny Poliwrath with the fighting type is definitely no exception. And this one is going to be an exciting one because Shiny Bellsprout was one of the Pokemon I caught during the event. I actually did end up catching three of them. So we're going to evolve Shiny Bellsprout here and this is going to be a Pokedex. I am not entirely sure what the shiny will look like. I wonder if he's going to keep the yellow leaves. He does not. He turns very, very green, which is a nice. I always like green shinies. Oh, sorry. This wasn't a Pokedex. Uh, Victory Bell will be a Pokedex, but shiny Weeping Bell looks really, really cool. I like the green, lime green leaves and the color scheme on him. So let's take a look at shiny Victory Bell. And Shiny Victory Bell loses the lime green color scheme on his leaves for a darker tan color. It looks like the leaves on him are dying a little bit. And his mouth turns like a, a, a violetish blue color, which is also really cool. Definitely a cool Pokedex entry for a Shiny Victory Bell. Because Shiny Bell Sprout in general is a really, really hard thing to find. And I'm so glad that I got one during this event. And this evolution here is not super exciting. It's not shiny, not a Pokedex. However, this Rapidash here is 100% IV, which is really exciting. And I think I already have a 100% Ponyta, so I, I think I'm done with that family. And here we have a Marowak. This is a lucky Marowak. It's not super, super interesting. But it's another one that I needed for the challenge. And this one is also a 100% IV. And I actually did have another Hundo Cubone like a long time ago that I evolved into a Marowak. And it's kind of unfortunate now because I have two Hundo Marowaks. And if I had known before, I would have saved the Hundo Cubone that was not lucky and evolved the Hundo Lucky Cubone into Hundo Lucky Marowak. And we are nearing the end here, going to evolve Shadow Ammonite into Shadow Amistar, which again is another Pokemon that one of the, the Rocket Leaders has. I want to say Cliff, I guess maybe he's just my default, but I am adding Shadow Amistar to the Pokedex. And another really, really neat shadow, It you can barely even see his pupils with his eyes red. I'm not sure if that's how the normal one is as well, but he looks possessed and terrifying. I believe this is the final evolution to complete the last step in the last quest for the Kanto event. Evolving 
do duo into do do trio. That doesn't sound right. Do trio. It is right. I was kind of right, half right. But we're gonna add him to the Pokedex. This one is not super special. I think it's a 96 IV, but I do like all the different heads on him. It does look neat. And as you can see there, I got all 72 evolutions out of the way, which is just a massive list of evolutions. And I'm going to claim the reward here. Three star piece, three rare candy, 15,100 XP. And that'll do it. That puts us at the end of the Pokemon Kanto event. Look at all these completed tasks here. It's insane. And that also means that I earned the Kanto medal for registering all 151 Pokemon originally found in the Kanto region, which is another exciting little addition to my medals. And this event was insane. I loved this event. There was so much going on all at once. There were raids to do. There were so many quest lines. There were so many side quest lines. There was the the battles to do with the different trainers. And it was just one of my favorite events thus far. It, it wasn't more lucrative as far as like shinies go as compared to like GoFest. Well, can't remember now. But tons of exciting things, tons of exciting Pokemon, a lot of shiny dexes. And I, I want to know, how did your guys' Kanto event go? Did you get a whole bunch of new shinies? Did you Pokedex a whole bunch of shinies? Uh, what shinies did you get? Because I walked away with almost everything I was looking for. I didn't end up getting the shiny Voltorb, which was one that I really, really wanted. But I will catch you one day, I swear. And lastly, were you guys able to catch a shiny Mewtwo? Because I sure wasn't. And Nick caught two. One on his alternate account and one on his main account. I, I have no, I have absolutely no idea how many Mewtwo we ended up doing, but it, it was at least 30, at least. I hope everyone had a super fun Kanto event, and I will see you all on the next adventure.